What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to Samar Let's Play SpongeBob Square Pass Battle Heart Bikini Bottom. I can't believe I'm playing this game. <laughs> the last episode, we finished up with Downtown Bikini Bottom. We collected everything, and this is actually a new recording session. Uh, in between recordings, I actually was looking up the music in this game, and some of the music's actually fantastic. Like, seriously? Amazing! This is, this game has some like really amazing music. We haven't really come across anything in particular. Like there's been actually pretty good music so far, but I mean nothing that's been like breathtaking. But there is actually some amazing tracks ah, in this game. Goo Lagoon, a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. All right, so here we go, Goo Lagoon. That, that's nice, SpongeBob. Um, first off, oh, we have 11 socks here, really? I like that exit to this level. It's, it's a freaking parking lot to the beach. Is that not fantastic? And yeah, I was waiting for that to happen. I was surprised that SpongeBob wasn't doing his T thing. Does he do it if I stand still? No, he doesn't. That's weird. No one out of bounds. Well, actually, I've already shown you guys that. You know what that looks like. Anyways, here's a hammer. Oh, a hammer. Um, yes. Okay, so. Maybe looking at this, be like, hmm, how the heck do we do this? Well, it's actually a Viking symbol here. And welcome to the main gimmick of this area. Ah! Where you actually hit up these things, and they actually are timer based. If you look at that, that'll actually probably. Wait, hold on, should we jump up there? Yeah, let's see if we Or uh, maybe I'm lying? Okay, I, I know at least some of them have our timer based later on. Maybe not yet, though. Alright, Goo Lagoon. Speaking of good music earlier. This music is pretty great. That laugh, though. Oh, these guys. <laughs> I really like the intro to a lot of the a monsoon, a monsoon, a monsoon. That's what it is. Um, I really, I really like the introductions to all these enemies. They're hilarious. Best way to deal with them is just to up strike them, bubble, whatever that's called, the Viking helmet attack. I like how the Tiki's themselves look nervous. Look at that, like chattering. Oh boy. Okay. Um, can we get this underpants actually? Oh, or not. I'm say, might as well get that checkpoint, but I guess we're not going to. More stone Tiki's. Scare the scalps away! Do I look burned? Uh, you look a little red. Uh, that darn robot. What? Robot? What robot? Yeah, Where? There's a robot a here. A robot stole everybody's sunscreen. What? Oh, no. Everyone will burn. And then they'll get all itchy and peel. <laughs> exactly. You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. Especially on your nose. That robot out on the island. Nobody can get it's to him. Hammer. Urgh. Maybe you could Must use those destroy him. to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Yay. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big I reflector onto the robot. I'll stay what? here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I, uh, There's babies swim. here? There's no babies here. Babies can't swim. What? <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, you may be wondering what's the character we can play as here. Well, I'll take a look. It's Patrick! We're not gonna play as him for now, though. Um, we will probably momentarily. Actually, we definitely will momentarily. For now, though. Anyways, look, I was trying to say about the music. This isn't one of my favorite tracks, but this is one of the most memorable tracks to me. Although, this game doesn't really doesn't have too big of a. Um, soundtrack, but for what it does, like you could tell just by the music in this game that like the people who created this game actually worked really hard on it. Uh huh. Okay, now, what's the first lifeguard tower we want to start on here? Cause there's a beam of light up there, but where's it coming from? Uh huh. Right here. I think, is that just coming from the sun? That's just coming from the sky. I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh, that looks kind of funny, actually. Oh, I think this one? So if we hit one of these buttons, it'll show you a cutscene of it pointing over there. 
Now, if you, put, if you go back over here and hit this one, it should do something. Oh, God! You get out! Good lord. Alright, now if you hit this one, it should also do something different. Wait, did it beep the first time? Yeah, no, that's, that's clearly the wrong way, though. Best way to tell if you're doing it right, if it's pointing to a light tower or... Yeah, that, it hasn't shot to yet. There we go. It goes when you do it wrong, I guess. Do you like my bang? <laughs> okay, so I might as well take care of this. Oh no, I must use your belly! Oh crap. I must use your belly, sir! Oh crap, I must see. I must use your belly, sir! I must bounce- <laughs> He's so fat. Oh boy. Ah! There we go. Uh-huh. 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 Hmm. I think there might be something else on top of this light tower. You can kind of see it right there. You see the glowy glow? Yeah. That might be something useful. Yeah, see, there's a sock right there. I'm even wondering, how the heck do you get that sock? We, we can't really get up there. Well, that'll come to play later on. Excuse me, sir, I must use your belly once more. Okay, okay, I'm pointing to this lighthouse, light tower. It's not really a lighthouse. Let's see what this does. Eh? Now, and there's also no how there's a watermelon up there. Does this do? See, this is where it does get kind of more confusing because it, which what which light tower do I want to point it at? That is the question. Oh, actually, I think this is right. Yes, it is. Oops. Oh, well, that was a tricksy hobbitses, a tricksy water source there. I did not think that would be there. No, I can. I'll get get out of the umbrella. This goo goo's looking a bit different. Than it was before, well, at least in the TV show. But this is the good in the game, and it actually looks fantastic. It's a really nicely laid out level. Actually, most of the levels in this game. Oh crap! Maybe that wasn't right. I thought maybe this light tower would point towards that light how light tower, but maybe not. What does this sign say? What are you gonna point to that? Ah! That's right. Yeah. Oh, we didn't use. Wait, did we use that light? No, we didn't even use that light tower. That's weird. Maybe maybe there's different ways of solving this puzzle. You get to the pier, uh, to the uh, wait, what? You can get to the island from the pier on the other side of the sea caves. Okay, so what the science pretty much telling me is this is as far as we can get to on this puzzle, but it does save our progress. So keep that in mind. You do want to do this before carrying on because otherwise um, you'll have to come back and redo everything, or I guess not really redo everything. But we'll have to do everything over again. Let's switch to Patrick. Hi! That's my Patrick voice, do you like it? I think you're overreacting, SpongeBob. That's about to, I, I always... <laughs> as a child, I would always, like, um... Do SpongeBob impressions. I, I thought my Patrick impression was spot on and my Squidward tentacles. Ha! 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 Okay, maybe not. Um, now looking back on it, uh, it's actually pretty terrible. And I really regret doing it. There's a lot of checkpoints in this area. Like, a lot. Destroy this thing. Jump over here. And this is where the watermelons come to play. Hit the switch. And what the Bilbo? Oh, I was like, do these fall? So I remember they'd always shake, but I'd never stand on them enough to see if they do fall. But yeah, you get over to the next tower, and then it should all fall. Yeah. And they don't actually exist, oddly enough. I wasn't sure if they were. No, they just come out of the water. Towels on the bottom of the water, okay. Whatever you say, game. <laughs> uh, it's clever though, I like this. Uh huh? If you haven't figured it out yet, this is going from tower to tower. And oh boy! And there is Where would this one go, I wonder? Hmm. That's right, this is going to the sock. Yes, it is indeed. We're gonna wait. Uh, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There we go. We got the sock. First sock in this area. See, like, look at that. Versus, like, jellyfish fields and all that, this is already getting a lot more complicated. Like, hey, that sock, that took a lot of work. Kind of. I actually made that. That's normally pretty difficult to do, but I was, I managed to do it pretty quickly at the time. Um, I believe this is all we need patching for for now. So I'm going to swap back. Go back this away and 
see you, but we can see you with our my elven eyes, with my spongin' eyes. There's a monsoon over here. Goodbye, my monsoon. Goodbye. That. I'm gonna destroy these, I suppose. Another difference between SpongeBob and Patrick is when he jumps, he can attack mid-air. Patrick can't do that. Patrick can only attack when he's on the ground. He can only thrust his belly out when he's on the ground. I think that's all for that section. Yeah. You'll see there's some children flying oh, around over the here. Children's balloons what? have been overfilled. They're carrying <laughs> the children out of control. No. Sounds like she is laughing. I don't know, uh, Mrs. Uh, Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. No, fun's yes, bad. Too much fun, if you ask me. I agree. You can see not allowed that fun by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bashing. Bubble that's bash what it's called. Balloons, the come thing. see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. Can do indeed. Almost like candy. Almost like fun do. What, what is fun do? I hear that name a lot, or word rather. But I've never been able to figure out what it is. You probably saw there's another sock up there, so we have to keep that in mind. Um, okay, there, no. Okay, well, we might as well hit this first guy. Bubble bash. All enough, the balloon shadow shows up, but the child's shadow does not. How very creepy. Is he gonna be sad now? Uh, look how sad he's, he's all gonna be like, No, I don't want him! <laughs> Uh, this one could be a bit annoying to get. Oh, whoa, nope. I guess you have to hit the balloons and not the children's. Over here? No! What? I'm flying, mommy! I'm flying! <laughs> Mama be proud of me. Right, let's go back over here. Wait for him to do his roundabout! Nope. Oh, uh, well, I thought I'd maybe I'll make that, but no. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Somehow I don't think you need a hand. Yeah, the glove does not need a hand, believe it or not, because I have a whole bunch of ready. Seriously? Stop giggling! No having fun when I'm around! I told you! Jeez, stupid children's. Is that good? Yes, it is. Okay, great. Now, you must die for daring to try and attack me. I just feel like there's going to be something in one of these, like, little... What are these, changing boots? I don't know. Sun tents? You just go and hang out in there when you don't feel like... Staying at the beach. You were nowhere near me. Get out. Get out of here. Ah, it's, I think it's, these ones are actually timer based. Oh, oh. These ones sink with the red band seem to sink. Whoa, I thought it was a sock for a second. But come to think of it, before I do forget, well, let's go grab the sock here. She's gotten. It's gotten by many upon many of thingies. Um, no, okay, I was like, can we get over there? But no, I don't think we can. For now, at least. Alright, let's go see if we can save this children. This singular children. Might as well grab that checkpoint. See, see, there's way too many checkpoints here. Unnecessarily amount of them. Alright, see, now this one's back down here. I guess the spinny ones are probably the ones that are timer based. Okay, what? Nope, I have to use the bubble bash, apparently. Are you gonna come back over here? Come back! Oh. Am I gonna be. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, but that is! Go out of bounds! He does go out of bounds. That's kinda funny, actually. Yep. That's the thing I was talking about earlier, where the Spon SpongeBob does that weird thingy, my Bob. Uh, we didn't go over there, though. Well, let's go check out that area. Probably shouldn't have jumped off, actually. <laughs> Whoop, whoopsies! Uh, months. Oh, really? Alright. See a successful this time. The monsoon can be very annoying here. Yeah. Those guys really aren't too bad, though. Don't blow me off, please. Yep, and totally blew me off. Well, screw that. Ah, oh, crap. There better not be anything on top of, like, there or something. Is there? I don't think there is. A camera in this game It's pretty good left and right, but looking up and down is very finicky. Yeah, I don't particularly like it. Alright, it's got this pair of underwear. Is this... Um, I don't think I want... To... No, not yet, at least. Yeah, you can't swim, I guess. I don't think we want to change the Patrick quite yet. We are going to want to momentarily, though. There's freaking fire-breathing dragons over there! What?! Pretty fantastic, actually. Aha! That's what I meant. Oh, no. 
Alright. Um, <laughs> just kind of blindly jumping at this point. Well, I really asked for that one. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, well, at least it's just about. She's like, what was the point of the checkpoints if it spawned me right there? I don't understand this game. Alright, come here. Come here, you. Uh, is this gonna be an issue? Are you gonna make this difficult? He's gonna totally make this difficult, or isn't he? Well, especially when stuff like that happens. Alrighty, alrighty. Really? Uh. Where's he going now? He's going this way now. Stop having fun, damn it! Maybe, the, maybe these guys don't go on as much as a pattern as I originally thought. Am I coming back this way? No, he's flying over here now. What? Seriously? Ugh. Okay, well, it looks like I wouldn't have been able to reach him anyways. Are you going over here now? Let me end your fun, dang it! Oh, I missed my chance! Stop giggling, damn it! No more fun for you! Stop! What is he doing now? What is he doing? What? Okay, come here. Great. And, ah, oh, normally they fall in the water and they're just, they're pretty much Jesus babies because they just sit there. <laughs> I think once you go, uh, like load a different screen and come back. Okay, that does sing. Once you load a different screen and come back, they will be like on shore or something else. So they don't just sit in the water forever. Which is weird because they just sit on the top of the water. It's pretty much that weird glitchy thing where you know they shouldn't be there, but they are or something. Um, yeah, I'll just go back around here. Alrighty. Do I switch? Oh, I apparently need this again. Indeed. Dang, sucker. Alright, let's swap the Patrick now. Hmm, there's another bus stop right there as well. That's weird. Some really weird place. I'm like. I don't understand that one, but what's the point of them putting the bus stop here? Why why would why would they assume one of their or people were playing as Patrick at that point? Because you need SpongeBob for all the children. I don't think of it. Hey, hello buddy. Hello, buddy. buddy. Is this leave me? Yes, that leads me back over here. The box is actually super useful when you miss stuff like the socks and golden spatulas. Otherwise they're not too entirely useful. What's bubble buddy say? I don't think we can actually so, kill the monsoon. What are you supposed to be? I'm a starfish. What are you? I'm a figment of SpongeBob's <laughs> imagination. Oh, that makes sense. No, it doesn't actually. Whenever you talk to a character like that, and they don't really say much of anything relevant, at least. That pretty much means you're playing as the wrong character. Normally, they'll tell you to bring, like. Normally, if I talk to Bulb Body, he'd be like, oh, if you see SpongeBob, tell him I'm around. Um, th that time he didn't though, but okay. Whatever. Like, I care. Um, uh, how... We actually want to do something here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. You want to avoid... Oh, boy. Ah! No, no, no! Ah! Oh! Holy crap. Okay! <laughs> That's pretty scary, but we did it. Yay, okay, we got the sock. Now that I have a bad trick! Yes, indeed. Um, if we come over here, the annual sandcastle contest. That's a pretty good sandcastle. It's pretty typical, but at least they added the flags to it. Whoa! This is a piece of art! Let's get out of this freaking statue's in the way. I'm pointing at this one. This one, right here. Yeah, that's pretty great. <laughs> and then there's this. What the heck? Is that a... That's an Atari controller! What? I, I didn't... I never noticed that before. That's awesome. And then... Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, if in case you're wondering, this is a sandcastle right here. And yes, this is the winner. I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, nope. yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden <laughs> spatula on the top. If what I had a nice castle, play. I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. That'd be fantastic. Um, the golden <laughs> spatula? 
Oh, at the top of the stand. Even though Castle, Bubble Buddy that should be easy is a reach. figment of SpongeBob's imagination, he still well, like has more you sense see than for yourself. SpongeBob himself. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe already. I was hoping to get to the end of this area in this episode, but that's not looking like it's going to be a thing. Um, next episode, we'll take on the Sand Castle and see if we can go about finding that golden spatula. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.